Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio, and it's a product review video today. Um, you see lined up in perfect little color order, uh, various different bottles of purely pigment artist color, and this is all made by Color Art. Now, some of you have heard me mention her stuff in the past. Um, Leslie has been doing business in the color world, color making world for about the last 30 years and I've uh, used a lot of her different stuff and this is her latest creation. Um, I'm also going to point out that she is having a huge sale right now on a lot of these products that she has available and I just kind of want to put it out there to all of you fabric painters and fabric colorists that this is stuff that you may want to consider. Now I've done tests on this stuff before. Um, in fact, hang on just a second. Let me grab my sample and I'm going to put it down here on the table. Um, now this is, this is other different types of stuff. This, you know, various different inks. I'm going to basically be doing the same kind of thing with all of her stuff here. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be coloring without fabric medium and with fabric medium. I will end up heat setting and washing to see where we stand with all of these colors. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've done a couple of tests so far. Um, I just want to point out the bleeding. And that's because I was using this. Um, now, I typically love Golden's Medium. However, in this particular case, it's, it's, not, it's not doing me any favors because the colors are really bleeding, um, spreading rapidly. So I have two colors down here. One is this one is our, our Aztec yellow and the other one's going to be Aztec yellow with fabric medium. I'm actually going to dip my brush in my fabric medium and come over and put this down. Do you see, uh, you know, it, it bleeds a little, but it is nothing. I'm going to stop right there and let's watch this for a minute. Um, there is a tiny bit of, of bleeding going on, but it is nothing compared to what was going on down here. Um, so, you know, I'm not trying to make a case for my own fabric medium, but I am. Um, but I also want to say that what you want to look at when you're choosing your fabric mediums is its spreadability, meaning does it cause things to bleed? Again, Golden has a fantastic feel once it's dried. And if I'm doing large areas, there's nothing I won't use but Golden. But in the meantime, um, you know, the case is there. Um, I, I don't think mine spreads nearly as much. Another one that you could use that's similar to mine is Ceram Coat um, that Delta makes, and that too is a relatively thick fabric medium. Continue on with the testing. So this is what I warn my students about in class. If you do not clean your brush off well and then dry it, this is what happens. I went to go put some fabric medium on here and there was a drop of water still in my brush and this is what it did. So this is why I harp on you guys. Make sure your brush is dry before you move on to the next color. See, even the teacher screws up. Okay, so I've got the color codes done, names, Legible, sort of, kind of. Um, but you can tell the bigger splotch is the one that I put fabric medium on. Now I'm going to let this dry overnight. Then um, I may just do a tiny little test on a separate piece of fabric, just on some of the really dark ones, like right off the bat, um, looking at Vibrant Aqua or Hickory, or even Black Plum. I may just go ahead and do a separate little swatch just to see 
what they will look like. But I know I've, I've, I'm almost positive somewhere in the recesses of my mind. I'm pretty sure I have tested the first batch that came in and uh, everything except for Dancing Fuchsia, which I did not include here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, but I could not get it not to bleed. Um, that was just not gonna happen. Um, but in any event, stay tuned for the second half and to see the results. Hey everyone, I'm back. Okay, it's all been ironed. I have this on hot water. Hang on, I'm gonna grab my Dawn liquid detergent. I gotta tell you guys, this is a, oops, oh, oh, you got to see my filthy dirty sink, sorry about that. I get ready for shows, everything comes to a screeching halt here in the house, except for testing. Testing always goes on. Okay, so getting a good, good sudsy scrub going on right now, and hot water. Very hot water. Ouchie, 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 as a matter of fact. But this is my ultimate test. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So um, I see a little bit of bleeding from... Perfect Peacock by itself. Perfect Peacock, however, with fabric medium, no problem. Maybe there's a tiny bit of bleeding on Sour Apple with no fabric medium. Got it going on here with a, with a pure uh, magenta, but... Everything with fabric medium looks awesome. Ah, uh, this is great. Okay, what this means is, for me, um, I will be probably making up various different kits with these pigments. That is, customized paints and... Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm 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 gonna have there's the my mind is so expanded right now. I don't even know what to say. But this is going to lead to a lot of cool projects down the road. So stay tuned. In the meantime, please go check out colorart.com. I am going to leave a link in the uh, description below. Uh, wonderful stuff. Now, I'm going to warn you, they're not the cheapest in the world, but with their big sale going on right now, you just can't pass it up. So if you're into coloring on fabric, and again, I mean, I, I cannot deny, except again for just a few colors that singly are bleeding, everything else with fabric medium is is looking good. So there you have it. If you have any questions, you know, leave a comment below. Uh, again, thanks so much for watching. If you like this and want more, hit the like and subscribe button. You know the routine. And again, as always, thanks for watching.